Yo, Joe, what up, G.I. Joe fans? This is Case Must Prime here, back at you with another video review. Um, today I'm doing, as you can tell already, G.I. Joe, Dr. Rex Lewis. Now, before I actually get into this review, I actually want to give a good thank you to my good buddy, TiVo Cable Guys, for requesting this review. Um, dude, thank you very much for requesting me this review. Um, please subscribe to him, my other buddies. If you're watching this on my homepage, it's probably down there in the uh info it says subscribe to my buddies definitely go subscribe to those guys they're my brothers from other mothers so let's get a good look at the figure um let me just take him off his little stand here real quickly um if you've seen the movie you know that this guy was the original is the leader of cobra was the actually uh doctor for the team there wasn't really an official leader unless you count the guy that was originally the head of mars industries and um Later on in the movie, at the near the end, he injects the head of Mars Industries with a um, serum that turns his head into a um, metal mask, and um, he becomes Destro, which is similar to his uh, McCullen family nation, which is kind of where the myth, the man in the iron mask, kind of gets a little story. Um, and then later, he trades in this mask that he has on for his helmet, where he becomes the Cobra Commander. Now, before I actually look at the figure, this because this is probably one of my favorite G.I. Joe figures, let's take a quick look at the card that he came on, the box. So you can tell, it's a pretty nice box. Let me just pan the camera a little bit. It says, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. You got a nice picture of the doctor there. Uh, I don't have the insert. Uh, says, Rex the Dr. Lewis, Chief Experimental Doctor, with a nice Cobra logo, similar to the one on the t-shirt I have. Uh, quick shout out to the review spot. If you're watching, I got that shirt off 80stees.com if you want to look for it. Um, here we have a bio on the back. We actually have two bios. Let's start off on the one on the Dr. Rex Lewis. It says, Rex the Dr. Lewis. Rex is the chief experimental doctor of from Mars Industries and developer of advanced down technology. This figure in an explosion. He relies on life support equipment as he launches a diabolical plan to satisfy his thirst for power event and revenge. Prefer weapon. Mars Industries radical exponential nano injector system. And you got a little story over here on the side that says, G.I. Joe is a highly trained, classified special operations unit composed of men and women from around the globe. Officially, these warriors don't even exist. If you know the truth that G.I. Joe fights a secret war as the first and last line of defense against the force that seek to plunge our world into chaos, wherever there's trouble, G.I. Joe is there. Now you know, and no one is half the battle. The other half is knowing where to get drunk when you win. <laughs> anyway, um, the other figures in the wave include... Um, Conrad Dukehauser, the Arctic Attack Snake Eyes, Ripcord, um, my good buddy Storm Shadow, Baroness, she's hot, and a uh, Para Viper. So putting that off to the side, let's get to the figure itself. Um, it is a very nice figure. It is about three and qu three quarters scale. So um, you could probably t put this in the amp suit of your Avatar vehicles if you don't have any of them yet. Um, it's a very nice looking figure. The trench coat is a little bit loose on mine. Uh, this figure is somewhat of a repaint. It doesn't have the blue plate on the inside. Um, articulation wise, let me just pull off the wig because it, it is somewhat loose. The head could rotate 360 but it is hindered by this jack, by his mask. His arms rotate 360. They can go in and out. They can bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. His leg, his waist rotates 360. His legs can go forward and back, in and out, although it is hindered by the trench coat. He can bend two joints at the knee, and his feet can pivot up and down and rotate. So yeah, heck of a lot of articulation. Um, almost every G.I. Joe figure has every standard piece bit of articulation. Um, in the way of accessories, I don't have, I'm missing one accessory, and I'll get to that in a second. First thing he comes with... He does come with this really big gun. Now, he did come with a smaller pistol, but I've lost that. That's one of the two accessories I'm missing. But he does come with this really big gun, which is rather nice. It's painted black, but it's rather nice. It also comes with this little briefcase. Would have been nice if it had a little uh, Mars Industries logo, but that's a, that comes with the Baroness if you want to go that far. And if you open it up, you get a few little... Um, those aren't the Nanomite Warheads. Those come with the Baroness and every one of the Joes. Those are some sort of Nanomite Pods. 
that um I don't know if those are used in the movie. I think these are built to um I think these store the liquid that goes inside the nanomites. I'm not 100% sure it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Now this is um he has come with two of these interchangeable hands. These are his uh, metal hands that he was used for experiments. Which, as Sean puts it, reminds me of um, Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. But I only have the one, I don't have both. So, you can put those over his regular hands. And he does have a feature where if you pop off his head... Let's pop off the tope. That comes loose anyway. <laughs> Killed him. You could take his little uh, breathing mask. Just slide it right off. And you can get him with his ordinary plane head. And, he, of course, the mask... This is a super piece. Now, something I find somewhat f funny about this. You put the head back on. And you put the wig on. Deja vu. Doesn't that look a little bit like Professor Snape from Harry Potter? Looked a little bit to me. Like, I was watching the Sorcerer's Stone last night on the uh, Ultimate Edition. And they're red. And I said to myself, you know, well, the mouse I do could look a lot like um, Professor S like. Dr. Rex Lewis. <laughs> um, the only really thing that the mask... Um, here it is right here. The only thing that the mask is missing that they probably could just kind of mold it onto the head. It's only missing the monocle. Which, to be honest, it's not much of a major gripe. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't matter a lot to me. Barely at all. But, um, it doesn't really matter a lot. Um, wow, six minutes already reviewing a, a three-inch figure. Um, <laughs> anyway... Um, his final accessory, which is rather oversized, this really big grabber weapon, which I'm assuming is, like, for, uh, big testing items, and it, it does have the little handle there, so I guess he could hold it. Let's see. Can he? Can he? He can. No, can't. It's too loose. But there's a little green button on the back there that if you, um, um, press it, can, you know, um, open and close. So not only can he use this to grab Joe's and, you know, as a prize grabber, he can use this to grab hot dogs off the grill. <laughs> and his final accessory, which you saw already, he comes with a stand that looks like a dog tag, has two pegs for his feet, it says, the doctor, not to be confused with scalpel, the doctor, easy, or tough way. And it has the, uh, the cobra, um, plate on the bottom there. That you can peg him onto. He has two holes in his feet, which <laughs> kind of surprises me why they, they would put them there. Um, why they would, but um, kind of reminds me of how they put the the holes in um, Doctor Manhattan's feet, and and that would probably hurt like hell. But yeah, um, this is probably one of those very few figures to come across. If you can find it, you definitely want to go ahead and pick this figure up. This guy is definitely one of my favorite figures, and personally a better excuse for a Cobra Commander figure than the one we got already even both versions and that little chubby little action battler version and then we got um this isn't a bad choice again subscribe to my good buddy um uh, Cable Guys um I guess about it later guys I'm out of here